All right, our favorite unit has tripped out again. This time it wasn't on loss of refrigerant charge. It was an E6 error, which is the standard compressor. Standard compressor E6 error could be a, a bad contactor, uh, chattering contactor, not closing all the way. Went ahead and meg on the windings on the compressor. It's good. Checked it to ground, nothing to ground. We checked from leg to leg and they're equal. So I went ahead and checked the ohms on the contactor, pulled this plug out here. That's where the wires for the contactor are going down to and I checked that out and we had open line. So we got to get a new contactor. Got it in emergency mode. We're getting used to doing that. So it acts kind of like the, when you put a slate unit in emergency mode on a manifold unit, you hit it 39 times and then it locks this one out, the standard compressor, and it's just running off the inverter. The inverter does most of the work anyway. But it's one thing after another. We lost the charge on this unit, and now, now the contactor went bad on the coil. So we're going to get that fixed, and we're going to see what other, what other effects this domino has for us. So stay tuned. All right, we got the new contactor. Got the coil wires disconnected right now. We're going to have to take that one out and put it in. Before I go ahead and shut the power off, I'm going to turn this guy back on. Alright, I'm to kill the power on the disconnect. This guy disconnected. It's gonna be a pretty basic. It's gonna be pretty basic. Just take these all off and uh, put the coil wires back on. Put the new contactor in. Get it all hooked back up. Let's get to it. I mentioned in one of my videos that you need to make a note on the inverter video. Your red, white, and then your blue and your black going to your compressor. Keep the wiring order in your mind, you know, it's like red to red, white to white, and the dark color to dark color. And somebody asked me why didn't I refer to the schematic. Well, there is no schematic up here at the unit. It's all in the service manual. And half the time, when you've got a repair in mind, you don't have the service manual at hand. So it's easier just to remember the color that your wires are, what order they're in. And that's why I didn't refer to a schematic. So we're gonna have to get these all hooked up and uh, fire it back up. Got everything back together. We're gonna go ahead and flip it on. Now I just wanna check the coil voltage. This thing ought to go through a self-test and it ought to kick on the standard just in, in a test mode. Kinda like goes through a bunch of checks on the valves. Then the standard will kick on and then usually the inverter will kick on shouldn't try to run after it goes through its test because I have a, I have the units off downstairs. I did that so it wouldn't go into an, uh, uh, a communication error. They usually will go into communication error. I mean, it'll clear itself out, but it's just faster to shut them off and then turn them back on when ready to run. This is like a 208 coil. The other coil read open line a while ago, and then it, after we pulled it off, it's still reading a thousand plus ohms. I gotta check, make sure. 
Okay, the can't see it on the screen probably. The H H3P light is on solid, which is good. If the H2P and the H3, if this light and this light were both on, it'd be an abnormality. Kind of shows you right here. So only this light is on, it's normal operation. These two are not on, so that's good. Just went through a check, I guess, finally it took long enough. So the new uh, contactor works. We didn't go into a, an E6 fault. So I'm not gonna say this one's fixed because this is like the third thing that's happened to it in a week. So let's hope this is it. Thanks for watching. Just to verify, we did check the ohms on this winding. The winding was 271 ohms. You go to this one here. You got 1,068 ohms. So, definitely causing our issue. Just wanted to show you on camera um, what the ohms were on the coil instead of just telling you so 1068 on this one 271 on a brand new one